Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me for the next episode of Hom 7's Trial by Fire. And I have unfortunate news. I am not sure what's going on or why this is a thing. But it looks like Hom 7 stops now. Not the series, guys. I'm going to play through to the end. But there's going to be more, no more development, no more DLC, no more anything. At least not through Limbic um, Entertainment's side of things. I don't know why. I feel like Hom 7's actually done pretty good, and if they could just finish getting the bugs fixed, the game, like I said, uh, bugs included, I still, I've, I've, I'd have to consider this my favorite in this series. A lot of people will disagree, that's fine, everybody can have their opinion, that's okay. But I'm also anticipating having two full DLCs, another faction added, probably the Inferno faction seems to be what everybody wants. So that's what I was expecting, you know, two full expansions and, you know, it being bug-free. And I, I honestly would challenge anyone to to not at least like the game. I mean, they might not love it and they might not say it's the best, but they should like it. I mean, the game's got a lot of cool, innovative stuff. I mean, it's good, but if it's going to stop here and the bugs are still in it, I mean, I, it might get bumped out of my favorite spot. Maybe five takes back over for my favorite and then three and... I don't know, this is still, it's going to be up there either way. Like, I really enjoyed Seven's base game. I'm not having as much fun with this expansion. I've never been a massive fan of the dwarves anyway, but... Yeah, that's that's some heartbreaking news. Uh, the 5th of October, they made a, a press announcement or a, a release thing on the Shadow Council website saying that this is where it ends, basically. So I don't know if they're bringing in another company to continue and do, like, another expansion or what the case is, but as it stands, it seems to be this is it. And Ubisoft and Limbic Entertainment are parting ways. And I don't know what the details are of why specifically they're splitting, but yeah, that sucks. It really, really sucks. Some of the worst news I've heard in a while. Like, you know... Like I said, I... I this is not my favorite, this whole expansion. Like, I don't like the dwarves that much or anything else. But I'm not saying that the way the dwarves are presented, how they work and everything else, isn't really cool. It's a definitely, it's a different feel, different, I mean, it's it's really cool. I like the concept of it. It's just very, very against my playstyle. And for uh, making us wait super long to get our tier 2 units is a little bit ridiculous. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what to say or what to do about this. But, yeah, figured I'd pass on the information, let you guys know. Kind of sucks. It's kind of poopy. Alright, we're going to Fog Shroud up one of them, so there's no threat of death and destruction there. We know how this is going to go soon. I'm going to put this here, maybe? Going to Donk Donk slap that guy, actually almost completely killing him. Oh, let me take that back. I am completely killing him, and I have a follow-up Donk Donk slap, which is going to be amazing. Alright, I feel a little bit better about this right now going to wait. I'm going to shoot you, though it's going to make me sad because I know you're going to fire back on me. Oh no! For them, it's really good for me, but oh no, the poor guys. The one guy who could actually shoot me just had a low morale check and he couldn't fire, and the other guys, oh, that's so bad for them. Like, it's absolutely wonderful for me, but I feel their pain. That's terrible. Oh. That's so bad. I mean, luck smiles upon me, but dang. What a crappy way to go out type situation. Man, that sucks. Alright, well, let's just take these guys out. There's there's nothing to it now. Oh, man. That is just ruggedly nasty. That is just gross. I mean, I'm super stoked and happy. I'm glad my little combat hamsters didn't have to die again, but... Man, what a way not to die. Oh. So, yeah, there's my two cents, guys. There's the news update that I had to give you, and yes, I am quite saddened by it. <sighs> well, what can you do, right? It is simply what it is. There's not really much you can do beyond just be grumbly and upset about it, I guess. Um, hmm. Yeah, I suppose we'll come down over here. Continue your little adventure to try to catch up to us. 
And I don't really have any idea what we were doing. Oh yeah, we were going to come over with you and, and get you to touch her and then learn from her through the power of osmosis. Yeah. It's going to be great. All right, folks, this is going to be the last episode of the week. This should air Friday night, Saturday morning, something like that. It, it really depends. I, I know the weekends get a little bit weird and crazy. But theoretically, that's how it should work. And then, who knows? Who even knows anymore? What does life even mean at this point? I don't know. I don't think anyone does. Sad Bumpy is sad, I'm not gonna lie. Can I even get into the water? Oh, I can, okay. I'm like, can I even get into the water here? Because I feel like... Like, this is not great. But it's not that bad. What is this? Kind of easy, actually. Um, don't care, though. Oh, can I not... I, oh, that's so lame. Well, I'm gonna go fight this, I guess. Since I'm here, it's gonna be free experience. All right. So whatever, we'll take it. The rune of disappointment—that's what they need to add in. Like I, I'm so like, why? Why? This is so good. This could have been like when it was completely finished with all the expansions and everything. This could have been the greatest ever. Uh, I know not everybody will see it that way. In fact, I dare say most people wouldn't. But it still could have been pretty darn good. Oh well. What can you do? I can be bummed out is what I can do. Jeez. Su I'm super bummed. Like, you guys don't get it. Like, I'm super bummed. This is super disappointing. I'm depressed by this. Not like to the point where I'm going to want to hang myself from the rafters or anything. But it's, it's pretty de depressing. It's pretty disappointing. Oh boy. Alright. Combat hamsters, fire your lameness. You still look awesome doing it, so that's that's all that really matters. You might not be amazing, but you look good at being unamazing, so it's all good. Alright, I'm gonna guess somewhere around there and maybe there-ish. If they like make their full move. Oh, I could've... Well, I still can, I guess. Alright, I'm going to smack the slightly weaker ones over here. Going to wait, going to wait, going to wait again. Oh, he moved up. Cool. Too bad he's going to die for it. So... Do we get to go again? Oh, we do. Look at us with, like, ridiculously, absurdly high morale. Just wrecking fools left, right, center, up, down, back and forth. That's what we do. We handle business. And nobody can take that away from us. Another level up. Man, she's just flying up those levels. I'm enjoying this. Alright, let's go here. Mentor! Yay! So that's a thing that we did. Well, I guess we'll have to get more experience in other places. Yep. Seems to be the thing that's gonna happen. It's okay though. I don't mind it so much. Alright, let's go and take you, take you, take you. We have visited you. I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna try to attempt to battle you. No guarantee that it's going to work, but it's there. Are you gonna be able to like close with me? And if you do, are you gonna kill my combat hamster? Because that's gonna make me ridiculously sad if that's actually how this happens. If that's like how I go down, ugh. Talk about depression. Oh good, you're avoiding me altogether. Even better. Alright, well we're gonna head out over here. And chances are I'm probably just gonna build a thing over here if I'm gonna be like totally 100% honest with everyone. I'm gonna snag that up, I'm gonna go tag up this thing. And I think before I do that I'm actually gonna wanna grab the troops from you and then talk and touch, do whatever we got to do with the other one. I'm going to bring this over to you, take over all those troops, and that's that. I guess she can move, like, slightly more. And the turn, all of our heroes are over here being like, what's going on? Welcome to Hero Land. Uh. All right, all of our movement is increased. Wonderful, fanciful, awesome stuff. All right, that being said, let's build a thing here. Let's call forth all of our troops, recruiting all of those, recruiting all of these. 
and we still have an absurdly high amount of money that we will never ever under any circumstances ever be able to afford to spend because it's just like absurdly high I and mean, that's literally the only reason hi give me experience and stuff did that work I don't I feel like she didn't give any experience to her no nope. No, no experience exchanged hands? Alright, well, whatever. Alright, this probably isn't going to be the most exciting or fun battle that we've ever had, but I think we can manage something I should have used. Oh, it's not, she doesn't have the uh, Arkath thing, that's right. Like the good one. Alright, so what we're going to do to start off is Fog Shroud you. Then we're going to put this on up here. Then we're going to wait ourselves a little bit right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. I'm going to wait again. And then I'm going to put me one of them there here things right there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bonk, bonk, slap it, a dap, dap you. And take you out of the fight. And then hopefully with high morale. We do have. Which is fantastic. We're going to crit you to death. Because we are the luckiest people to walk the face of the planet in the history of mankind. It's kind of a big deal. Hmm. Well, enjoy your weird situation that you're in. Um, waddle on over here. And waddle on over to. Alrighty. Let's float our way over here. Let's pop this bad boy down right there. Let's attack from this weird angle. And be slightly sad that that didn't do as much damage as I was anticipating or hoping that it would. Then. Hmm. Then cry about how bad this is going to go for me. It might not go that bad. Alright, well... Fire Giant say no! Oh, it's gonna be okay. We're fine. Ain't no big deal. Alright, you are gonna get crushed, good sir. And with the high morale, yep, it's happening all of the days of our lives. It is done, it is sweet, sweet, nice style, and we are looking solid. Alright, and look at that, yet another level up. I know, it's amazing how quickly this is going. Alright, let's go here and do that. And now all we have to do is get, like, fire magic tier 1, and we're casting that master fire rank. Then I think I'm going to go down the destiny tree. Yes. We'll go down to the Destiny Tree, we'll also go down to the Exploratory Tree. Please tell me I didn't, I, like, I, I put her as the governor. Okay, I did. Like, I'm pretty certain I did that the right way for once in my existence, but there's no guarantee. Are you going to give me more? Come on, like, we met. There's, you have to have more experience than I do by, like, a lot. Like, does it, is there a place that shows us how much experience that we have? I uh, granted 15% doesn't show me like my overall experience I imagine you're 15 22 maybe if we were 50 it would work or 30 or something but I, I think that's kind of where it stops ooh really really do you have no but you does anybody have anything that can benefit from this okay but you know what next time we level up we will so that's gonna be okay all right let's go over here and play with these guys start combat Cross, kill, destroy, eat cheese later. I don't, I don't know about the cheese eating part, but all the other stuff's cool. I may try to use fog shroud on it. Not sure. The jury's still out on that one. I am gonna make sure I actually donk donk slap early and often. Oh, and with the high morale coming back into play, the Donk Donk Slap is real, ladies and gentlemen. It is real. 
Okay, well, I sort of just want to go and, like, flatten murder your face, but I don't think that's the play. So... Eh, let's hit you with this. Bam. That was very underwhelming, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna try for this. I don't know if it's gonna work. I, I think something's weird about the Fog Shroud with that guy. I, I remember trying it before, and I don't think it worked. So my guess is it's not going to be a thing that happens. But we'll we'll see eventually. Alright, we're going to move forward a little bit here. Kind of want to just go and hit him, but... No, it seemed to have worked. Okay. I really want to go take this on. Eh, I'm doing it. I don't care. That ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. All right, we'll be able to get a little bit of damage done here. It was pretty good. I did enjoy that immensely. Many of you should have as well. All right, gonna put you there. Gonna skip your turn. You're fine. Going to nuke you with this. Going to, wow, actually kill you off with that too. Wasn't really expecting that. Oh, the Donk Donk slap with the crit! What? And that's pretty much you in a in a body bag or in a casket in a, in the ground in an urn. I mean, maybe we go with a cream, you know, cremating you, cremation. Maybe I don't know. Either way, you're not alive anymore. So there's that. That was actually really easy overall. Okay. I think we can handle that. Alright, let's start combat and see. I'd like to get everybody up to 25 if at all possible. Don't know that it will be, but I'd like to at least give it a shot. Oh, good. Eh, not my favorite choice of things to hit, but okay. We'll wait. I actually really like how that just went. That was amazing. Okay, so let me think about this real quick. Water Elemental goes after the... You know what, it's too risky not to hit the Water Elemental. Yeah, I was like, if I was guaranteed to have what I want, then maybe, but... There we go. If I was guaranteed to be able to go again, I would have maybe not done the Water Elemental, but... There was no guarantee on that front, so... I mean, this is gonna be really easy unless they get like super high morale, which is possible, mind you. Yeah, we can still punch somebody with uh, a Vilma, so let's do that. Alright, let's wait, let's wait. Really? I didn't think you could make it. Well, you know what? I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. Get on over there. Yeah, we'll take you out. Doesn't matter. Bam! High morale? Nope. Dead morale? I am wrecked. Okay. So we lost a few bears and a couple of these dudes. Not a big deal. And you guessed it, yet another level up. Alright, so fire magic. Learn. Yay! And what's this? What's this? It's a runic box with a thousand experience in it. Ah, eh, whatever. It's free experience. Can't really complain about that. Alright, not sure what to do at this point. With the rest of my folks. I mean, we're gonna have to go to the underground. I mean, that's kind of a given. Like, we know that's the next logical step, right? The stuff's already on its way, so we'll just, I guess, have to wait crack our knuckles, prepare ourselves for whatever combat comes next, and, well, eventually be about our business, so. The yellow guy was crushed again. Hmm. Alright, Vilma's gonna come over here, take on this thing. What do you mean you haven't learned a magic skill yet? 
isn't this the very definition of a magic skill? Or do I have to have one of these then to get to the next expert thing? I, I don't, I don't know. Well, whatever, we killed everything on this side of the map. Well, I guess we're gonna go underground now. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is what it is. Uh, again, I'm gonna attempt... I'm going to attempt to get everybody to level 25 before we break this all the way off. Which means that Bridget is going to be able to go around and do some murder-death killing, and it's gonna be glorious and sweet, sweet, nice style. But that is a tale for a time a little bit further ahead than right now. Start combat! Bring it on! Alright, so we have some fancier ones and some less fancy ones. Eh. Go ahead, make your moves. Hmm, weird. Alright, well, let's say good day to you. Slightly less weird that way. Put you there, gonna wait. I guess we're just gonna wait with you too. Well, you guys spreading out all nice and cool like like that. That's that's interesting. All right, the shot is real. It's not real impressive, mind you, but it's real. Go and we'll do that. I'm going to wait. I'm going to have to defend. I'm going to defend again. I'm going to shoot. Okay, could just. Flat kill him or these guys. I'm gonna go murder this guy right here. There's no point in waiting around. All right, we have you and we have you. And I think maybe with me smacking him on top of it. Nah, that's still too risky. Maybe another smack on top. Maybe the defensive thing. It still seems risky, like, un unnecessarily, but we're gonna try it anyway. Maybe we'll get high destiny. No. I only did 20 damage to us, though. It's not too bad. And, oh, of course, it's down this way. It's fine. Alright. Get destructed, dude. And we're gonna, of course, annihilate him. Oh, with the high luck. Yep, you're done. And... I'd say Crisplachity, but really, it's just like... Because we're goring him with a rhino horn. It's fine. Rhino Horn Gore, go! And not quite the next level. But we're getting closer. 1500 experience there. Random stuff land on the ground over here. Another thing over here. How many are you? That's a lot. Let's go fight you guys and make you die. Eh. All right, ending our turn, we'll have our next caravan coming to join the first very, very soon. First one has made it. I don't think we threw away a lot of uh, troops unnecessarily, so I feel pretty good about like everything so far. But I know we've thrown away some, and that makes me cringe a little bit. It's a little cringe-worthy, you know. It's fine. Oh, this looks like a massive battlefield. What is going on here? Why is everything offset so far to the left? Like, it seems strange. Like, everything is in the right, like, order, but they're, like, super far to the left. I don't... Whatever. Let's do it. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna stand much of a chance against us. I'm just saying. Pretty sure you can't close with us. Oh, you actually can. Okay, never mind. All right, let's soften you up. Please don't kill him outright. Good. We heard him, but we didn't kill him outright. All right, let's go Gore the Goon. Gore Goon going, going, gone, sure. Do six damage to you. Unfortunately, can't quite close with you. We're gonna have to shoot and do like nothing because our combat hamsters are super lame. Mind you, they are quite awful. That's okay. All right, and once again, we shall lay out some pain onto you. 
The question is, do you want to go after the giants or those guys? Darn it. It was those guys. Alright, well, we lost two guys. I'm fine with that. Wrecked. And the level up is real! Yay! Alright, fire magic. Apparently I have to do something here. Plus one might for every fire spell cast. Eh. Really, really plan to, like, spam fire spells, mind you. Okay, so I did that. I'm actually going to come back. We're going to get troops for one and two. It works! It works this time. Alright, cool. One the turn, you're gonna come running on in to give me my extra troops. We're gonna go and gather those up. Does that mean we're at 22 now out of a possible 25? I believe so. 5,000, yep. And we just did something to the next rank of fire magic, even though we don't have to. We just got it for free. Why? Because we're amazing. Unload all. Very nice. Bridget. Want to try your luck again at touching me? Oh, that didn't work. Nope, still nothing. Alright, well, we, we tried it. Oh, she's 24. I thought she was like 22. Gosh, I'm I'm almost there. Like, this might do it right here. Which basically means that I should go in there with Bridget and get ready. Because there's going to be some, some swapping over of the love. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that! Alright, ending the turn. Scratching the arm. Waiting. Waiting for the murder. Let's go and get this taken care of. There's some gold to be had over here as well. Alright, and Vilma, are you ready? Oh, they want to join me for 62,000 gold. That's actually fine. I could do that, but I'm going to attack them instead. I know. Let's see what Quick Combat says. Everybody's like, do it, do it, do it. Not everybody, some people. Actually, that's not bad at all, but I'm going to fight it manually. Why? Because I enjoy the combat in the game. To me, that is a very big and important part of these games. And just bypassing it because of uh, expediency is okay in certain circumstances and situations, but in general, I don't like to do it. I'm sure you guys know this by now. I mean, like, how many millions of times have we done crazy stuff? We're going to fog shroud you. Got to say, I'm a bit disappointed right now. And the reason I'm a bit disappointed is the fact that they get to move before my Donk Donk Slapper. That also didn't do anything to stop them from hitting me. So that's not great. Fog Shroud didn't work. Are they water immune? They are water immune. Okay, so that was just kind of a waste in general. Alright, well, you know what? I'm not going to sit around and wait for more hatred to come after me. We're gonna go, we're gonna land on them. Yeah, kill four of them. Three. Well, that's, that's what we got. We're back to the original 50 at least. Or if that's something, I don't. It's whatever. Alright. Attack A! Not enough A! When I defended with my Valkyries? Oh, I'm a dumb, dumb head. Alright, what do we have that's gonna. Nothing. Literally nothing. Well, we can do Firebolt. How many did we kill? Six. How many did we kill with that? Six to seven, really. That's the difference. Well, I'm pretty sure that we're going to lose quite a few more of our dudes soon. Like, real soon. Fiery soul! Eh. Well, hope you enjoy. Eh. Our combat hamster is going to be like, dang it! Why? Yep. And... Yep. And we're back down to the bottom end of life again. Ugh. It's fine. Like I said, the combat hamster is not really viable if you don't get them early enough. And as you guys saw, we only got 50 when we needed probably around 200 by that, that point in time. Alright, gonna go after this, and I might end both of them. It did. Ah, well. What can you do? That would have been one of the times where it would have been way better to just let uh, the auto go. go. Eh. What can you do? I'm not even sure how that would have happened. Like, why would they have targeted the other? It doesn't make sense. 
Like, in no way does that make any sense at all. But that's okay. And I suppose it doesn't have to. Alright, we're going to go through this turn, and then we're going to actually break off the episode. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed up to this point, and, well, we'll see you again on, I guess, Monday with the next episode of Hom 7's Trial by Fire. And let's hope that somehow they pick up the this series again. Like, I hope there's an eighth installment. I also hope that they maybe find another company to continue working and fixing Hom 7 so it becomes flawless and we get another expansion. Again, I don't know what all the details are behind the split there, but it's disappointing. It's disappointing because this is definitely one of my favorite games so far and well, it's going by the wayside. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.